okay, I just finished working letter A of this problem, um, but I forgot to tell you that um, the outcome to letter A where it is not factorable, that's covered on um, page 471 of the Algebra 1 textbook. Um, the sum, it's called the sum of two squares. Um, and that rule is basically a squared plus b squared. Anything that looks like that is not factorable. Ooh, okay. Not factorable. So, um, you can, you can go back and take a look at that. Um, next, let's look at letter C. Okay, uh, let's write letter C a little bigger. Actually, I'm going to use a much bigger pen. I just think it's easier to see. So, okay. 3x squared plus 16x plus 5. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, I prefer to use um, the quadratic formula here. Um, but I think the book likes for you to use trial and error at this point. So, we'll just, um, we'll just do some trial and error. A couple of things that might work, the only the only two options here would really be, you know, 3x and x obviously is what we have to have to get 3x squared. So we could either add 1 here and add 5 there, or we might be able to do 3x plus 5 and have x plus 1, but those are going to be our only real options because uh, 5 is prime, so these 1 and 5 are its only factors, so if if something's going to work, it's going to be one of these two things. So we try this by doing the distributive property, and we get 3x squared plus 15x plus x plus 5 over here, um, 3x squared plus 16x plus 5. Okay, so this one works, and and these are our factors. Um, just for fun, let's go and take a look at what the second one might have been. And that gives us 3x squared uh, plus 3x plus 5x plus 5. And we can see that because 3 plus 5 is 8, that this would, in fact, not work. But that's, that's how the process works for letter C.